Hey everybody, it's Casey with Small Business Millions. It's uh, June 2nd, 2015. Last night we tried to upload a video for Instagram quick tips and uh, something happened with the audio. It wasn't working right. The lighting, uh, I was messing around with the GoPro. It just didn't work right. So I wanted to go ahead and re uh, redo that video, get it up for you guys tonight. It's late, but I still want to get it done because everybody let me know that it had a problem. So um, over the last few weeks, I've had some questions uh, you know, regarding Instagram, using it for small businesses, for marketing, for advertising, for you know all that sort of thing, um, and how people can reach uh, not only their customers local but nationwide, worldwide, uh, and how they can you know kind of expand their brand uh, and uh, just reach new customers, new people, new contacts every day. So uh, there's basically three uh, very important things that you always have to remember and always have to do on Instagram that allows you to grow. A brand, uh, grow your followers, grow your uh, customer base, and uh, get more sales. And that's what we're all uh, pretty much here to do: is sell more products, sell more services, and uh, make more money. So, uh, you know, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Number one, make sure that you post regular, relevant content. Whatever your business is, make a business page dedicated to just that item, or that service, or that product, or that brand, or that business, or whatever it is. Don't post pictures of your graduation party, your dog, and your night out drunk on your business page where you sell purses. Don't do it. Stick to what your product or your brand or your business is and only post items for that. You want people to come and see your product and not everything else that's going on. Um, and when I say post regular for Instagram, I recommend three to five posts a day. One in the morning, one in the afternoon, one at night, and throw one or two others in there. Um, tip number two, use videos in addition to photos. Um, a lot of people love the 15 second video option that Instagram allows. Now it only does allow 15 seconds, so if you take a longer video, they have an internal uh, cropping and cutting program that you can you know, select the 15 seconds that you want, or just do it through an editor on your computer get your 15 seconds in there and post it. Um, the third most important thing to remember about Instagram is hashtags. Whatever it is you're posting, whatever content you're posting has to be hashtagged. I recommend again three to five good solid relevant hashtags. If you don't know what a hashtag is, Google it, look it up, research it. It's basically a keyword or a phrase that you put the pound symbol, number symbol in front of and people can search for posts based on those hashtags. A uh, good example, I have a friend. She owns a uh, online company that sells dog treats and dog products. She will use the hashtag dogs of Instagram, hashtag dogs of Instagram all the time. It gets millions and millions of searches, millions and millions of posts that are tagged in it. So anybody that searches for that hashtag dogs of Instagram will find my friend's page and therefore find her online business and can buy products from her the same goes with searching for hashtags. Let's say you want to sell dog products like my friend does. She will um, post with the hashtag, but she'll also search that hashtag because typically anybody that's using the hashtag dogs of Instagram is going to be a dog owner, a dog lover, a pet owner, a pet lover, whatever the case is, they're going to be the ones posting and using that hashtag. And those are the people she wants to reach. So it makes sense for her to search that hashtag and she can comment, like, share those people's posts and they will find her that way. Uh, people don't have to follow you to find your hashtags. If they're following you, they're gonna see your post anyways. If they're not following you and they search for that hashtag, they can still see you. It's a very important feature of Instagram. It doesn't matter whether you're following or being followed by somebody, you will still see their pictures and still see their hashtags if you use the general search. Um, if you don't know how to search for hashtags on Instagram, um, basically just go to your main profile, sign in at the bottom uh, tab, I believe it's the second tab, is a little magnifying glass. Click on that and then click in the search bar at the top and you can search by people's names or if you select the second tab it says hashtags, you can search by hashtags. You don't have to use the hashtag, just search for the keyword and it will find it. Uh, another good example of somebody that sells purses may uh, use the hashtag Gucci or the hashtag Louis Vuitton. Um, so that's basically how you'll want to use hashtags. Use what's relevant. Use them in your posts and use them to search and find people that could be potential customers. So in review are three important things. Post relevant daily content, use pictures and videos, and use hashtags and search for hashtags to find people. 
Uh, if you do all three of those things on Instagram daily, you will see your followers grow and you will see your product sales go up uh, exponentially. Instagram has, I believe now, 350 to 400 million users. They're owned by Facebook. They're the largest growing social media platform by percentage. Uh, probably behind Facebook and Twitter, probably the third um, most used social media platform. Don't quote me on that, but I would guess that they've got to be in the third slot. I can't think of anyone else that's bigger besides Facebook and Twitter. Um, and I imagine they're going to pass Twitter at some point. Uh, the other important thing is when you do, if you don't already have an Instagram account and you sign up for it, make sure you fill out the profile. Um, put your website link in there if you have one. Put your Twitter, your Facebook links inside of the little description box they give you any pertinent information, put all that in there. Make sure you get the most out of it. Have a good you know, profile picture with your brand or your logo or whatever it is. Fill that profile out when you sign up. Again, guys, it's Casey with Small Business Millions. Uh, I will leave for you YouTube viewers the links to my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram down in the profile uh, box, down in the uh, about box. It's all there. You can follow us. Uh, you can go to the website, smallbusinessmillions.com. Uh, we created a new theme. It's back up and running, so check that out when you have some time. We'll have some products up shortly. And uh, it's June 2nd, 2015. We'll be back with you uh, Friday with a new video. Um, maybe Thursday night if I get some time. But uh, it's going to be on small business accounting for starters, uh, QuickBooks, and uh, spreadsheet usage. So look for that. It's very important for everybody that's in small business. you got to keep track of all the money that you're making and that we're going to help you make. Uh, have a great night, guys. We'll talk to you soon. See you.